Hey everybody, welcome back. Today on the bench I've got a Chrysler Beehive, bottle 11-4. Um, 1940s, 1940, um, sorry the exact <laughs> year escapes me. Now this has been given to me because it's been recapped and it doesn't work properly. So I did the normal checks um, power transformer, output transformer, field coil, speaker, they're all fine. And um, powered it up and got good voltages on the uh, filter caps and that was great. And a station came through, but it was very, very weak. Now, um, I looked at the valves and they're all okay. So um, I thought, okay, well... I'll go on to the IF cans, and I did, I played with them, and uh, just by ear, and um, managed to get signal come through. And it was a lot louder than uh, the, the whisper that it originally was. And I'll just turn it on now, uh, I'll attach your antenna. Here we go. I don't know if you can hear it. That, that's a vast improvement to what it was. Anyway, I started doing some voltage checks. And this is what I found. So negative, um, sorry, black lead to the chassis. And I'm just sort of probing around. I'm looking at the plate voltage. And you might not see it, but um, it's going up. Yeah, about, about 190 volts, so that was good. Anyway, I started mucking around with the IF cans and check this out. And the, and the volume comes up. And if I go here, I want to do... Um, nope. There we go, got them mine. Sorry, I'll bring that up. So I'm just on either end of the um, the IF can. And the volume comes up. Now, with all this, the volume pot has no effect whatsoever. So I've got I've got the thing off on off. And um, as a gang, Ooh. as a family together, one three hundred. Yeah, oh, I've had something similar to this with uh, an old Astor, um, where um, I, I changed the um, antenna coil, and um, I thought that'd fix it, and it didn't. No, if those of you that saw the video, and then um, it turned out to be an IF can. So um, I can't see that it's an IF can this case, in this case because they're. They're all working, and I've tested them, and uh, there's no open circuits in there. So there's something amiss. And, of course, given that it's been recapped, um, is a problem. Uh, I've already found one error. Um, the, uh, uh, the, sorry, pardon me, the uh, cap for the tone control, which is just a little switch, um, it was connected to the wrong pin of the uh, 6V6, so I put it back on the plate as per the uh, schematic, which, of course, is down below there. And it does work, it does work. So um, I'm going to have to nut this out. Like I said, I've never ever seen anything like this before. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Multimeter brings up the volume. So I'm going to nut this out and, uh, and I'll come back, um, hopefully, with a solution. Well, I found it, finally. It's only taken like two hours. <laughs> when you don't know where to start and you just go through. Um, but anyway, I'm going to pop up the um, part of the circuit on screen there and we can just go through this together. So as you can see, um, it's part of the uh, the volume pot circuit, the output. And um, if we just follow that red line coming from the pot, it goes through, uh, it says uh, 005, okay. Um, there's a 50K and it goes into the uh, first IF cam which then goes through the IF, of course, and goes to the grid cap of the uh, 6B8. 
Now, let's come back to the um, chassis itself. And as you can see, there's the output. There's our 50k. And there's a um, shield of cable and little cream wire in the middle of it. Up it comes. And it goes... And of course, that's been uh, no, the shielding's earth, that's okay. The correct pin, uh, pin six. And, um, but the uh, coupling cap there, that's connected to the grid cap, or to the, yeah, the, the correct post that goes to the grid cap. But the other end's earth. And where's my little cream wire? It's not there. <laughs> so, look, whoever's done this, they've just. No, just got it wrong. Just put it basically that simple. I'll turn it on. And um, we'll just jumper it up. Come on. Why am I playing with the volume pot? Here it comes, finally. Uh, All right. So, we'll go here, and I'll attach it, no, I'm not going to earth it, I'm just going to go straight to here, and he had always said he come and move the arts. And so said, watch me yeah. um, It so doesn't kill the sound completely. But the main problem has been solved. All right. I don't know. Well, I'll work out something for that volume port. Try and kill the sound. If not completely, then um, certainly just minimal sound coming out of it. Hope so. Maybe when I uh, attach that coupling cap up there. That might fix the problem. Don't know. Could just have to wait and see. Anyway, I'll sort this mess out here and I'll come back. Well, here it is. Uh, the beehive is finished. And there's our problem uh, capacitor there. And that's been uh, attached as it should be. It's currently warming up. And um, as I had hoped, it just come on. Um, that did help with the volume. I've got the volume turned off. You can just hear it coming through. That's that's acceptable. We turn it up. The rental vacancy rate in Melbourne is just 0.7%. That, paired with record rent increases, means there's a dire... That's a beauty. An absolute beauty. So, and tone control works. For people who can't afford to put a roof over their heads and we need to help their families at home. Councillor for the city of Yarra, Sophie Wade, will put forward a motion at tonight's meeting for the council, yeah. which is in Melbourne. That's as good as it gets. Anyway, this has been an interesting problem. So it just all came down to human error. Um, somebody had soldered the um, 0047 to uh, Earth, and of course, as I said, the um, the output of the um, tone pot or the volume pot was not getting into the IF can and getting amplified through the 6B8. So all done and uh yeah well i've enjoyed it very frustrating a day and a half on this um i don't sit here non-stop i just get up and walk away and discuss most of the time when i've got a problem like this but anyway i hope you found it interesting because i certainly did and i will i will see you all again very very soon so take care everybody have fun bye